we are back. It is time for our Champions League campaign to begin on Esso versus Eric. Now, it must be stressed that obviously I did program this game to emulate the Premier League fixtures for Manchester United this season to give this series a more realistic feel. However, I could not do that for the cup competition. So in the FA Cup, the League Cup, and of course the Champions League, we will not have the exact same group that Manchester United actually had. So instead of Bayern Munich, Galatasaray and Copenhagen, we have instead got ourselves Sevilla, Sveren Svesta, and Farol Constanta of Romania. So actually a much easier group for us to kick things off in the Champions League. And hopefully we can actually progress ourselves out of the Champions League group, where of course Manchester United failed to do so in real life. So this will sort of be the equivalent of our opening game, which of course was against Bayern Munich. That bizarre 4-3 defeat away where we got picked off, Onana made mistakes, but then we got back into it and almost got ourselves all the way back. But unfortunately, it did end in a 4-3 defeat for Manchester United. So this time, our actual fixture sees us playing at home against Sevilla in the group opener. So a real opportunity against the best competition we have in this group to get an early win and an early marker so that will hopefully see us progress in the Champions League. So this is the lineup we are going for. Casemiro comes back into the side along with Mason Mount in midfield. Amrabat keeps his place in the side after a brilliant substitutes performance last time out. He goes into Bruno's position as he is feeling tired. Varane is back as well, as is Luke Shaw. Reggion, I'm going to leave for the Premier League game at the weekend. And Martial returns up front. Rasmus isn't quite at full fitness yet. So we're going to go with Martial initially. That's not working. And of course, we do still have Rasmus on the bench. And then, of course, Scott McTominay, who can play all across the midfield and the attack now. I'm pretty confident. I've gone for the attacking mentality again. It worked against Brighton. We've gone for a high intensity. But it's the first game of the Champions League and a real opportunity to lay that marker down. So for Sevilla, it is once again a 4-2-3-1, playing against a lot of 4-2-3-1s recently. Dimitrovic in goal, Luan Liu at right back, Niazu and Sergio Ramos at the centre-back positions, Marcus Acuna at left back, two holding midfielders in Gudaish and Fernando. Jesus Navas back in his old right wing position rather than at right back in this game. Lamella is in the middle with a Campos on the left and Yusuf El Naziri up front. We're going to be making sure we're not allowing crosses in to El Naziri. We have very dangerous crosses with the likes of Navas in the team. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that, making sure they're not getting crosses into El Naziri. Hopefully it's going to be a United win. Don't ever do that again. Now, obviously, I would have had to have muted all of that, but hopefully you got some entertaining visuals of me singing the Champions League tune. Now, let's see if United can get off to a winning star. And that is straight away a free kick. Book him, referee. We want no mercy in these fixtures. I mean, there's no mercy, and then there's getting booked in the first minute yourself, Casemiro. It's them we want booked, not us. That's really going to end up being a problem, I think. I even told Casemiro on personal instructions to stop putting in so many hard tackles. I like it. First chance of the game then. Looks like it could be a severe one, but no, it's Rashford who intervenes. On to Martial, back out to Rashford. Big chance for United early on. Rashford goes through and he's got to do better. Oh, Marcus, all you had to do was just show a little bit more composure, but it's a good start. Fernando now for Sevilla. He slips in Jesus Navas, who's still got pace to burn. And he's got inside Luke Shaw, and Jesus Navas scores at Old Trafford. The former Man City man, how have we allowed that to happen? Luke Shaw, shocking from him. Ball inside Fernando and Luke Shaw just lets him go. Could Onana have done better? It's hard to tell, but... Well, not good. Not good at all. Rashford now for United. Can we make something happen ourselves? Mason Mount. Anthony finds Casemiro. We're looking to create those passing angles. Amrabat, lovely ball. Mason Mount, onside, surely. 1-1. One, one.
That's what you got to do. It's his first ever goal for Manchester United. He was a big money signing. He's looked pretty good in the matches we've played so far. Not really be able to give him a regular run out. But that's a great goal. And Amrabat justifying his selection. Continuing his form from the game at the weekend. Lovely finish from Mason Mount. 1-1. One, one. Game on. Now Anthony's got Acuna booked. That's what we like to see. Right. I think I'm actually going to make use of that. So if I now go into the instructions... I can now tell him to focus play. On the right hand side more. Martial on to Rashford. Can we get the ball over to that other side again? Like I said, we want to get targeting out Acuna. But I mean, we'll happily take a chance on this side as well. Rashford's got Shaw outside him. Shaw who needs to redeem himself. Finds Rashford. Drives to the byline. Gets inside. Cuts it back to Martial. Did he Rabona that cross, Rashford? Chance for a break now for El Nasiri. Have we potentially overcommitted here? No, Casemiro gets back really well. And now the counter to counter. Mount could feed Martial. Still could be on. And Martial just, as always, doesn't look bothered. Out to Mason Mount. This is where we want the ball. Anthony on Acuna. Acuna can't dive in on him. Anthony goes alone. He's got players outside him. Can Casemiro find it? Goes left to Rashford instead. Good cut inside. Rashford goes for goal! Marcus Rashford with the goal at the Stretford end. And it's a well-deserved lead. We're spreading the play really nicely here. Anthony found Casemiro. There was an overload. Rashford came inside. It opened up for him. And this time he used his right foot like he should have done earlier on. And it's 2-1 United. Let's go. Our first corner highlight of the game. Comes from Mason Mount. It's coming going back to Mount. Will he look for the far post again? No, he finds Varane. He finds Martinez. It's not going to be another worldie from Martinez, is it? Varane goes all the way back to Onana. This will be an interesting goal if we end up scoring from here. Varane drives into midfield. On to Dallow. On to Anthony. Run at Acuna again. Anthony plays it in. Trying to find Marcel. Comes to Casemiro. Now Marcel. Back to goal. Goes down. Nothing from the referee. Recycled again. Shaw to Rashford. Rashford comes inside again. Is he going to look to shoot again? No. Finds Casemiro. Back out wide to Anthony. Into Mount. Mason Mount again. I think it's close. I think it's close. But I think he's on. I've not got many of these decisions wrong yet in this series. But I think Mason Mount's on side here. This could be massive. Goal disallowed. Oh, I'm convinced. Comes out to Anthony. Oh, he's just gone. Look, look at Ramos's back leg. It's a cracking finish from Mount. But, I mean, again, got to praise the movement. Got to praise the running. It's good work from us. Mount intercepts it now, though. On to Martial. Good from him. Finds Rashford. He's got Shaw outside him. But he doesn't need him. Goes alone. Rashford with another brilliant run. Cut back to Shaw. Cleared only as far as Casemiro. Look at the space that Anthony's in. He finds Mount again. Deflected it in. This one's going to count. It's two for Mason Mount on his Champions League debut for Manchester United. And that is 3-1. Anthony and Mount combine again. This time it's going to count. And we are just too much for Sevilla. And that concludes a fantastic first half. 11 shots, 5 on target, 2.5 expected goals, 3 actually scored. 62% possession. I mean, all we've got to do in this second half is just manage the fitness of the players. We've obviously got five subs to play. Maybe an opportunity to rest some key players and give some youngsters some opportunities. But other than that, I mean, I'm absolutely over the moon with that first half. Another chance for Rashford here. He feeds Mount, now on a hat-trick. And he looks for the hat-trick! And it's a great save from Dimitrovic. Mason Mount is really up for this one. Dallow looks to hit the byline. Ball whipped in towards Rashford! It's four. 
And that's exactly what we spoke about last episode. The harder crosses getting in there. No more of these floaters. Just driven balls in at the back post. Dallow to Rashford. It's 4-1. And you know what? Given the fact that Dallow is our only available right back at the moment, I think we'll take him and Rashford off. It is 55 minutes. Let's rest the legs and keep the players up in their spirits for the game at the weekend. So Lindelof is going to come on for Dallow. I'm just going to set him to be a bit more defensive-minded. Let Shaw be the one that goes forward. And we're going to bring on three Academy of Graduates, Mainu, Hannibal and Garnacho in the midfield and the wide areas for Casemiro, Amrabat and Rashford, who of course have been our best players in this game. I'm going to give Martial the full 90 minutes, I think. He needs the opportunity to actually get minutes on the pitch. We can save Rasmus for another game. Then maybe a little bit later on, we take off Mount and bring on maybe Eriksson or McTominay in midfield just to see out the game. Well, there's incredibly been not a single highlight in the 20 minutes since I made those changes. So clearly they've made the impact I wanted them to. They're just seeing out the rest of the games. So like I said, I'm going to stick McTominay on for Mount just for the remainder of this match. Move Hannibal into the more attack-minded position. And let's see if McTominay can come on and do just that. And here is McTominay with his first touch. Oh, he nearly scores. Well, that would be so Scott McTominay for him to do that. Lovely tackle from Kobe Main, who releases Garnacho, And now he's got room to run. Comes inside to Hannibal. Lovely ball to Martial. Can he finally have his moment? Blocked by Ramos behind for a corner. Love it. Mainu now drifts in through the midfield. He's got Garnacho out wide. He plays it on to Hannibal. Out to Anthony. On Acuna again. Lindelof now in the right back position. He gives it away. Mainu wins it back brilliantly and slips in Martial. And this time Martial scores against his former club. Don't forget Martial went on loan to Sevilla and did absolutely nothing. Well, he's run over to those Sevilla fans and he has told them exactly what he thought of his time there. And it's 5-1 to United. This is exactly the start we needed. And dare I say, one step towards the Champions League knockout stages already with the expectation we should win against the other teams in our group. We're not going to see another goal conceded from kickoff, are we? Yes. We are, you know, as El Nasiri goes through. We've got to sort this out. I mean, they're saying it's offside. I don't think it is offside. I'm telling them to focus regardless. Yeah, goal awarded. That's twice. That's twice in the matter of matches. I think it's what, twice in four matches we've conceded a goal straight from kickoff. That's shocking from Varane. Just to let El Nasiri through. I don't want to say that ruins what's been a brilliant performance from us. But, I mean, come on. 5-1 up. Just see the game out. We shouldn't be conceding more goals. Another long ball from Sevilla to Suso. And they're going to score again. It's 5-3. What are we doing in defence? Varane again just absolutely sleeping. Lindelof has to cover for him and Acampos is then open at the back post. It's 5-3. Well, thankfully we've made it to what appears to be the last clip of the match, but what a sour ending to what had been a brilliant game up to this point. Sevilla still don't think they're done, by the way. It's maybe the last 10 seconds of the match, but Sevilla fancy themselves for a fourth here. Martinez gets it in the corner. Back to Onana. Is that going to do it? It is. 5-3. Look, you offer me that at the start of the game, I'll take it. But at 5-1 with 10 minutes to go, to only win 5-3 is a little bit frustrating. And the fact that we've conceded three goals from four shots on target again, 0.9 expected goals, and we've conceded three... Not best pleased about that, but I can't complain about the overall performance. Look, we brought teenagers on. We tried to see out the game in a 
manner that we should really do. But unfortunately, it's not quite worked out for us. But we'll take it. Big 5-3 win to kick off the Champions League campaign. Thank you very much for watching as always. Leave a like if you do enjoy this series. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next game taking place in the next couple of days. I'll see you then.